The co-founder of Just Stop Oil, Sarah Lennon, revealed on BBC Radio 4 that she would be, quote, delighted if activists peacefully protested outside her home in defence of protests taking place outside MPs' home. So this comes following fresh concerns, obviously, over MPs' safety and the home of Tobias Elwood being targeted by pro-Palestine protesters just last week. So Sarah Lennon did face quite a lot of backlash on Wednesday for her opinion piece in The Guardian calling out Labour for not standing up to the finance sector and right-wing think tanks. Well, pleased to say that actually joins me now. Sarah, thank you very much. Could you clarify a couple of things for us then? So, so you, do you think that more people should protest outside MPs' homes? Uh, do I think more people should? Um, no. No, no not... <laughs> mm. But, but you think I it's OK they, to do that, though, yeah? I say, Patrick, uh, yeah, I've got really bad delay on uh, on this line. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's really weird. Sorry. Uh, right. Do I do I think more people should protest outside people's homes? I'm I'm not calling for that to happen. No, I'm not. So, OK. But you yeah. think that protests are OK outside MPs' homes? I think we, and, and you might even agree with me on, mm. uh, on on this, I think our politics is failing us, right? Yeah. Like, I, I have not met a single person when I say, hey, you know, is the political system working for you? Are you getting what you want? Do you, like, you know, I, do you trust the people you're voting for? I haven't heard one person say yes to me. Yeah, it's really working. I feel really heard. And I think what we're seeing in these protests that are happening at MPs' offices, at, at homes, is that people need to be heard. They want to be heard. And they're not being heard. Yeah, and is, is there a, a line, is there a a line there, Sarah? Because this is the thing, you know, obviously you guys could run for political office yourselves. You could try to get into Parliament. You could try to force that change. Everyone knows the kind of cause that you stand for. Is there not a line when... You've got MPs at home, maybe with young children, with partners, etc. You know that, that's. I mean, if the mafia did that, we'd be calling it out, wouldn't we? Oh well, yeah, we would. And and you're right. You know, there there is a line in in all of this stuff. And when you're taking these kinds of actions, you have to be really very very careful ab uh, about what you're doing. I'm, you know, I'm not advocating for 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 people to turn up huge numbers of people to turn up you know i i think if you're going to do this you have to do it in a very careful considered way you know you do have to take care absolutely but people are driven to doing this kind of stuff because our politics is failing you know mm. so we need to do something else and we need okay. our politicians to address it mm. and i have to say mm. that actually if anyone does come outside my home, it's not going to be much fun. It's going to be cups of tea. And I think you've been invited to a much more interesting party earlier I, on that's going to happen outside my front door. Yeah. I, I mean, I did wonder whether or not... So some people who were delayed and held up by a variety of different Just Stop Oil protests, people had said that you know, they had wives in labour, somebody claimed anyway that their mother was having a stroke, for example, and they couldn't get to the hospital. I imagine a lot of those people would remain very, very angry with Just Stop Oil. And you are one of the co-founders of it. I mean, would you really be OK with those people banging on your front door saying to you, you know, you killed my mum? It, it would obviously be very, very difficult if that happened, you know. So, yeah, that, that, that would be really difficult. And those people are rightly upset. Of course they are. So, mm. um... But would they have a right to do that? I, I do believe they would have a right to come and talk to me. Of course, right. yeah, I do. I do believe that. OK. So, I mean, is this, is this... I just wonder if it's a slightly dangerous precedent to set, because, you know... People, people might take that. People might say that to extreme. I mean, you don't, you don't know who you're going to get. You know, saying, "Oh, it's all right to go." There are a lot of people that I speak to or have spoken to from Just Stop Oil who I understand they are, you know, absolutely, absolutely, really adamant about you know, the climate crisis and all of this stuff. And, I, and I, I get that if you if you get locked into that mentally, that you think that it can legitimise a lot of extreme action. And I understand that. But I wonder whether or not some of those people maybe are actually quite vulnerable. And that if they then see the green light to go to an MP's house, and if you think the end of the world is coming, 
then any action is legitimised, isn't it, really, after that? Are you not concerned that you might end up having to explain yourself in that regard at some point for the actions of someone else? So, Patrick, you, you make a really good point, and that's why we have this... Um, absolute ethos of non-violence so mm. if anybody comes to act and take action with just stop oil we have a whole suite of training so that people understand what it means to, to take action and what they need to do can so, i come to the training yeah that would be great i'd love to see <laughs> that I'd, I'd, really, I'd really like to see that i would really love to come and see you know behind the curtain of just a oil if it's possible it's a date <laughs> all right. OK. Well, hey, it's a Friday night and I've got a day. So, all right. Thank you. Thank you very much. And, you know, really Can interesting I, to talk Pat to you. Oh, go on. Patrick, be, be, before I go, like your point about standing for elections. Yes, uh, quickly. That, that, um, so, so right now, hundreds of people are actually getting in touch with Just the Boil mm. because of the piece in The Guardian about standing independent candidates, about supporting them. And they okay. are getting in touch about doing that. So, you know, for those people who do think politics is failing okay. them, that I think there is going to be an alternative. All right. OK. Well, interesting. Sarah, look, thank you very much. That's Sarah Lynn there, um, just talking to us a bit about why she's happy for people to protest outside her own home.